So it's a beautiful day outside and I wanna get out and do some chalk art. I got actually a bunch of boxes of chalk, so we're gonna do a nice big one. Um, a lot of you guys have sent me uh, artworks you've made where you're like taping off areas of the ground, like uh, to do like non-objective designs, like triangles and stuff like that with colors. So I think I'm gonna steal that idea, but instead of doing non-objective art, art that's kind of just design, I'm gonna try to make an abstract artwork. So it's not gonna look realistic, but I'm gonna use the tape to kind of help make an abstract design. So we're gonna see what we come up with, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get everything that I'm doing on camera so you can see how we made it. course somehow I set the camera wrong I forgot to like set the time-lapse settings right so we only captured the very first part of getting the um, tape done on the ground so I'll just show you the finished result and get into the chalking part and make sure I have the camera set right for the chalking part it ended up taking honestly about two hours just to do this taping and I have a feeling it's gonna take longer than that for the chalk but here's what we came up with and uh, hopefully this will go right this time So it took hours and hours and hours. We finally finished it. Let's go take a closer look. I, I honestly, like, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out. All right, so, so there's the finished design. I really, I did not expect it to look that cool when the tape came off, but I really think the pulling the tape off made it look awesome. Erica, Zane, thank you so much. Never could have done this by myself, at least not in this amount of time. So yeah. Um, I really like, we, we didn't know at first should we make these like hills or should we make them water and I really like the way the green and the blue look together down there. Last minute decision we decided to use a little bit of blue in the swords and I really think that kind of made them pop, added a little bit of harmony between the swords and the water and of course for my money the, the centerpiece of this artwork is the, uh, the sky and the sun, kind of that stained glass look. Ah, uh, I really really dig it so much work but I think the product is awesome it started to rain one time <laughs> and we were like ah, but then it went away almost as soon as it started very cool 
And again, I just, I'm so pleased, so pleased with how it came out after the tape came off. I just, the difference between uh, the way it looked before and when the tape came off just blows my mind. Really, really cool. So there you go. Creativity. So while Erica and I were doing the taping on this guy, Zane was over here making a mandala. Mandala, right? Yep. Some people say mandala. I believe it's mandala. That's the way I always said it. Got some sweet details in there. Do you have any specific inspiration for this one? No, I was just kind of doodling. Just uh, did what I thought looked good, and uh, yeah, turned out okay. Yeah, man, it looks great. It's awesome. I really like the little flower bit in the center. Yeah. Very cool. Very creative. Nice. Very fun. All right. Well, it's just about nighttime. Yep. <laughs> We got that. A day well spent. For sure. We got our little sunset here, which it's about to be in real life, even though it's super cloudy. Yeah. That's it for today. See y'all next time. And there it goes, look at that. It's kind of awesome.